So now we're going to do the last part on the calculus and that part is application, right? So if you are struggling with this and you need to basically um, uh, refine your skills, I would suggest the fact that you purchase my course. It's a once off payment. It's 190. That's going to be down in the description. And also the quiz for the application of calculus is going to be down in the description so you can test yourself whether you understand or not, right? So that's that. It says during an experiment, the temperature in Celsius varies with the time in seconds, right? Seconds to the equation T is equals to the temperature, which is T, right? With the T seconds is equals to 60 plus 27 uh, T minus T cubed. And they tell us the fact that the time is between 0 and 6. So 9.1.2, it says calculate the average Calculate the average change of temperature between 3 and 6. So we need to find the average. We need to find the average temperature, right? The average change, which is going to be equals to what is going to be T of 6 minus T of 3, right? Divided by what? Divided by 6 minus 3, right? So that's the difference. So now we're going to say you find T of 6 is going to be equal to what? It's going to be going to substitute 6 here. So it's going to be 60 plus 27, all right? Then this is going to be what? It's going to be 6. Then it's going to be minus, and it's going to be 6 all cubed. So this is going to be equal to what? This is going to be equal to positive 6. Then we're going to find T of 3, which is going to be 60 plus 27, and then this is going to be 3, right? Minus 3, all cubed. Then when you pass that into the calculator, you're going to get 114, substitute. So when you substitute here, it's going to be what? It's going to be 6 minus what? Minus 114 divided by what? By 6 minus 3, right? So this is the same as having what? Pass that into the calculator. It's the same as having negative. 36. So the average change of temperature is equals to negative 36, right? So that's that. So now we're going to move to 7 point, not 7, 9.2.2. Point, point All right, let me just fix that. So we're going to move to 9.2.2. Point point it says after how long, after how many seconds the temperature will be its maximum. So to understand when the temperature is going to be its maximum, we need to basically sketch this graph, right? We need to sketch this graph. We see the fact that this is T cubed, meaning it's a cubic. And if we rearrange it, so we know the fact that T is going to be negative T cubed, right? Then it's going to be plus 27 T. Then it's going to be what? It's going to be plus 60. We see the fact that here A is what? It's equals to negative 1, which is less than 0, meaning the graph is going to look like this, right? So the graph is going to look like this. So it's going to go down and up, right? We're looking for what? We're looking for when the, what you call this, when T, right? When T of this is what? It's at its maximum. We see the fact that here it's at its minimum. So this point here, this T value here, so this is where T is going to lie. It's going to be negative. And here, do you see the fact that it goes up? So this T value here is going to be at its maximum. So we need to look at the T that is here, right? How that makes sense. So to find that, since we're looking for the turning points, the X coordinate, the T coordinate in this point is the X coordinate of the turning point, right? We're going to find what? T prime, right? Which is going to be equals to 3 T squared, right? Plus 27, right? So you're going to, this is going to be what? This is going to be 0 because I'm looking at it. When it's equals to zero, so it's going to be zero is equals to what? Is equals to negative three t squared plus twenty seven. Take this to the other side, so it's going to be three t squared is equals to what? Is equals to twenty seven. Divide both sides by three, so it's going to be t squared is equals to nine. Right? Then you're going to say square root both sides, so it's going to be t squared is equals to plus or minus square root of three. Right? So therefore, square root of nine. Sorry. So therefore, you're going to find the fact that T is going to be equals to plus or minus 3, right? So meaning this is the same as T is equals to negative 3. 
through t is equals to positive 3. So negative 3 is going to lie here. Then positive 3 is going to lie here. Do you see the fact that the negative 3 is when it's minimum and the positive 3 is going to be when it's maximum? So therefore your answer is when t is equals to positive 3 because that's when it's at its maximum temperature. I hope that makes sense and that's how you would answer that question.